coming at you with another episode of the Art of Mortgage Marketing podcast. And today we're going to be talking about how to get out of the grind and get into the green with more fun, freedom, and fulfillment. So it's all about getting out of being that guinea pig on the guinea pig wheel, trading time for money, grinding, 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 trudging through the mud with concrete blocks on your feet, striving and toiling and busting your hump and getting yourself to a place where you get an unleash of awesome, where you have consistent, ever increasing cash flow. You're growing consistently. You're having fun. You're dancing in your strengths. You're doing what you do best. You're getting the best to do all the rest. You're leveraging your own unique gifts, talents, abilities. You're using your own unique ability to serve humanity in a way that is of benefit to others and ignites and excites you and has you feel fulfilled and uplifted. And that's what it's about. It's about finding that pocket where you can just dance in your strengths and then delegate all the rest of that minutia that drains you, that drags you down. And it's interesting that I timed this particular episode at the timing that I did, because it just so happens that last night, my 12 year old got up in the middle of the night and was clanging and banging and turning on lights. And she was like a bull in a china shop, just making a ruckus, turning on multiple lights, waking us up. And at that point, moment, I was thinking, dang, we need to get our our uh, room in a very different part of the house so that she can be doing that and it's not messing with my sleep. But for whatever reason, I was up and I could not get myself back to sleep. You know, I was probably awake for two hours. And here I am now doing this talk on how to get out of the grind and get into the green. And to be completely transparent and real with you, I feel like doing this podcast right now is a grind. I got a headache. I actually put... Um, mint uh, like uh, aromatherapy, mint aromatherapy on my temples to try and, you know, get myself a little bit ignited and excited in the face of me being uber sleep deprived, not feeling very good, not feeling my normal peppy self. The sparkle in my eye has uh, dwindled. The pep in my step is not where it usually is. And here I am talking about how to get out of the grind when I feel personally that I'm grinding just to speak with you right now. So it seems almost uh, ironic for me to be ha having this conversation with you, knowing how I feel. But let's be real. Sometimes success does require grinding. Let's not bullshit ourselves and tell ourselves that to get to success is going to be all lollipops, unicorns, and rainbows. That's not real life. That's not real life on the front lines of capitalism. In the front lines, you're going to face trials, tribulations, challenges, struggles. You're going to face all kinds of obstacles, adversity. You're going to face winds in your face that continue to thwart your progress. You're going to have some, you know, troubled sleeps for whatever reason. That's just life. You know, it's never going to be all lollipops, unicorns, and rainbows. You're never going to just have an avalanche of awesome unleashed just because you want success or you need success. It comes through a certain degree of grinding. So let's not sugarcoat this. To uplevel your life, uplevel your business, uplevel your health, up-level your wealth, up-level your personal relationships. It does require a certain degree of stretching and grinding and doing things that you don't feel comfortable with, doing things that you're not in the mood to do. I heard once the, a great description for the word commitment. Commitment is doing what you said, what you, easy for me to say, doing what you said you were going to do long after the mood you set it in has left you. Commitment is doing what you said you were going to do long after the mood you set it in has left you. You know what I call that when you don't feel like it? Grinding. You know what I feel, talk, what I uh, call that when you feel like making a call to a realtor uh, to book an appointment and you really don't want to, but you need to, and you do it anyways, I call that grinding. You know what I call that when you reach out to a client and you're not in the mood because you got other things you could be doing or want to be doing, but you do it anyways to ask for, referrals or to see if there's some way you can be a further help to them, a service to them. You know what I call that? In the face of you not wanting to do it, I call that grinding. You know, the dream is free, but the hustle is sold separately. So there is a certain degree of grinding that is required for success. Let's be absolutely frank and real with each other. 
That being said, we don't want it to be the fabric of our day-to-day -day experience. We don't want to loathe going to work. We don't want to go through every day feeling like it's a have to as opposed to a get to. We don't want to be dragging our butts through the day. We don't want to be going through the day feeling like we're trudging through the mud with concrete blocks on our feet, that we're heading east looking for the sunset, or like we're heading to the gunfight with a butter knife. That's not a positive experience. That's not intelligent, number one. Number two, it's not fruitful. It's not effective. We want to be in that flow state as much as possible where we're ignited and excited with passion, with joy. We feel motivated, we're amped up, we got energy, we got pep in our step, we got sparkle in our eye, we're charging forward, we're conquering new mountains, not sliding down old ones, and we're really driving instead of drifting. We're making things happen, we're not waiting for things to happen. That's the way it should be. That's the way we need it to be if we're get, really gonna operate at our best, because if you probably noticed, we tend to do our best when we feel our best. So the sweet spot for productivity and profits, not to mention tapping your full potential, is finding a way to get out of that grind and getting into a sweet spot where you feel great. Now, I'm quite sleep deprived right now, but because I'm using my gifts and talents to serve you and because I'm operating in my zone of genius, I'm operating in my unique ability, instantly I start to get more energy. Instantly, I start to feel more ignited and more charged to be able to be in the present moment and to be able to bring my best and do my best and to serve to the best of my ability because I'm not operating in my weaknesses. I'm operating in my strengths. So what are your strengths? What are the things that ignite you and excite you? What are the things that when you do, you almost transcend time and space? What are the things you do that have you lose track of time that you could be doing for hours and you don't even notice? What are the things you could do that really operate you in your optimal strength and capability? We want to get you doing more of those things. We want to get you doing the things that you'd almost do even if you weren't getting paid to do. Let, let's be real though. You'll probably not do it if you're not getting paid to do it because, you know, we got it families to feed, mouths to feed, and bills to pay, but it's something that you really get a lot of joy and fulfillment out of. We gotta get you operating in that zone of genius. Maybe it's meeting with clients. Maybe it's meeting with real, real estate agents or other you know, affiliate partners. Maybe it's public speaking. Maybe it's teaching. Maybe it's marketing. Maybe marketing is the part that really gets you fired up. We wanna find out what gets you fired up because the more you can do that and get you doing it at an optimal level where you're kicking ass, taking names, chewing bubble gum, crushing it and making things happen and continuing to hone and build that muscle in that zone of genius, the more you're able to do that and delegate all the rest of that minutia that drains you and gets you feeling like life is a drag and a chore, the more you're going to absolutely kick ass and conquer because you're naturally operating in your strength, in your zone of genius. You're naturally operating in your unique ability. So the first step really to getting out of the grind and into the green is identifying what is your unique ability. For me, it's coaching, it's mentoring, it's helping people uncover those blind spots in their consciousness that's holding them back uncovering those limiting beliefs that are thwarting them from their greatness, from stepping into their true power and potential. Certainly marketing, public speaking, maybe a little bit of copywriting, but what really ignites me is being able to use my voice and being able to use my intuition to help a fellow human being who really wants to stretch to higher ground, lock in on their own champion self discover, uncover, and unleash their champion self to be their best, bring their best, and really not just hope to achieve breakthrough outcomes, but make those outcomes an actual reality. Like I was talking to three clients this week. One of them doubled his business in three months. He'd been in the business for like seven years. He's having his best year ever this year. As a result of him working with me, 
We literally doubled his business in three months. We got him four top producing realtor partners who send him all their business. They do over 50 transactions a year. He attracted all four of them without making a single cold call. Not one cold call. Doubled his business. Went from, I think it was like uh, 20, can't remember the exact numbers because I actually had three conversations, but I'm pretty sure we added like an extra 14K to his annual or to his um, monthly income in three months in terms of average above his baseline. Not too shabby for three months. Another client uh, increased his business by 75% in three months. Uh, another client increased her business threefold. Threefold. She 3x three her income in three months and she's having her, she had her best month ever in July. She's on track to have her best month ever again in August. That stuff doesn't just happen by accident. You know, it's not like they just wanted to have these monumental transformative breakthrough results and then it just accidentally happened that way. Like it's, you know, your wish is your command. Like it's some genie uh, coming out of a bottle or something. That's not how it works. This actually is a consistent thread that you'll see in our case studies and success stories where people are doubling, tripling, quadrupling, even quintupling their business in two, three, four, five months. And the reason why this is such a typical and common thing for our clients is because we found the formula after 15 years on the front lines of capitalism, the formula for identifying how to remove those sticking points that are thwarting you, that are holding you back both externally and internally, and then locking you in on a proven plan to have you bring your best every day, to have you unleash that champion, that winner within every day, to have you show up powerfully, owning your mojo, owning your swagger factor, owning that champion identity, and being able to overcome obstacles, eating problems like their freaking breakfast all day, every day, and to be able to take massive action using the shortest path to the cash, which is a very simple yet sophisticated and elegant pathway to attract top producing realtors, make you their exclusive lender, mine the gold from your database, generate leads through social media, namely Facebook, being able to have that as a supplementary source of business, and to be able to diversify your lead stream so you can build stability through diversification and to be able to take those leads now and use those as super bait to attract top producing realtors by virtue of handing them, spoon feeding them from a silver spoon, from a silver platter, quality buyer leads, not just buyer leads, but pre-approved buyer leads. The best quality lead you can get is a pre-approval. Being able to spoon feed those to top producing realtors and now by virtue of the law of reciprocity, they're hot for what you got and they're sending you all their business all the time, putting you on their speed dial, making you their exclusive lender without any ass kissing, groveling, chasing, begging, bribing, cold calling or kissing ass. None of that crap. Just focusing on adding massive value and being unique, different from everyone else. But again, you getting out of the grind is being able to get outside of what you've been always doing because as the saying goes, if you keep doing what you've always done, you'll keep getting what you always got and the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over and over again, expecting a different result. That's not gonna work so well. So what produces the grind and what keeps you in the grind is a grind strategy where you're being fed a steady diet of hogwash from so-called experts telling you to cold call realtors every Monday, the same realtors every Monday with no value proposition or a lame ass value proposition that has them not giving you the time of day. Maybe you're cold calling new realtors. Same thing. That's doing it the hard way. That's caveman marketing. That's from the dark ages. Or maybe you're uh, doing open houses, you know, meeting different realtors at their open houses and they're thankful that you're dropping off a present or a gift or whatever or saying hi. But, you know, when you leave, they're just happy you left because they're just seeing you as another loan officer parasite trying to leech business from them. They don't see anything unique. They see you as a replaceable commodity. That's doing it the hard way. That's going to keep you in the grind, chasing realtors, cold calling, networking, open houses, or maybe you're trying to be sophisticated. And so you're doing some lead generation on Facebook, but you're doing it the wrong way. 
and you're spending a bunch of time or a bunch of money on crap leads, you're sending realtors these crap leads, they're wasting all their time and energy sifting through all this gravel to try and find a gold nugget, nowhere to be found. You wonder why that's not causing them to get jacked and stacked about working with you and making you their exclusive. Well, wondered no longer, my friend. That's just called a glorified job, sifting through a, a, a mountain full of gravel, trying to find a gold nugget. That's not what they want. They want the hot for what you got pre-approved leads, not your crap leads on Facebook. So there's lots of different ways to skin the cat when it comes to growing your business. One thing I know to be certain, if you feel like you're in the grind right now, chances are it's because you're using a grind strategy. You're doing it the hard way. You're head and east looking for the sunset. You're going to the gunfight with a butter knife. And ever, ever is never going to work. If you continue to use a grind strategy, it's going to continue to be a grind. So we got to remove the grind strategy. We got to get you digging instead of with a trowel. We got to get you digging with an excavator, right? Some of you are trying to dig the hole for the building of a foundation for a skyscraper called your dream with a garden trowel and you wonder why it feels like a grind. My friends, that's called doing it the hard way. It's time to bust out the excavator. You can get that done in like one tenth of the time. It's time to condense time frames, turn decades into days, put the garden trowel away. It's time to bust out the excavator. Wouldn't you agree? The other thing that causes the perpetuation of the grind is a grind mentality. By that I mean, You've got some patterns of thinking that keep you stuck, maybe unknowingly, maybe unwittingly. Maybe they were passed down by your parents. You got programming from your childhood and now it's operating in the background and you don't even know it's there. And you start hearing yourself saying things like, if I want it done right, I got to do it myself. That's a program. Or you say things like, there's not enough time in the day. That's a program or man, Success is hard. That's a program, right? These are all beliefs that govern your operating system. And the way beliefs work is whatever you believe, you prove yourself right. It's like Henry Ford, he said, whether you believe you can or you can't, you're right. We become self-fulfilling prophecies with whatever we believe. So what happens is we get this download from childhood, from life experience, in many cases, we do not ask for it. We get what we get. We're dealt the hand we're given, and we have to make the most of what we've been given. And sure, we have the opportunity to change these beliefs if we're willing to bring conscious thought and intentionality and extreme ownership to the table to be able to pick and choose which beliefs align with your goals and which don't. But most people are living life asleep at the wheel. They're literally living life asleep at the wheel. They have no idea how many beliefs they're, they're holding on to that are thwarting them and holding them back. So for example, if you have a belief that says, if I want it done right, I got to do it myself. What's the chances you're ever going to build a thriving business that sets you free with a top talent team that runs your business in your absence and has your business running like a finely oiled machine. So you can be sipping a Mai Tai poolside while your business is running in your absence. Chances are never. Why? Because you have a belief that says, if I want it done right, I got to do it myself. Another example is a belief that says finding good talent is hard or finding good talent is expensive. If you have a belief that says finding good uh, talent is hard or expensive, what's the chances are you're ever going to find top talent, let alone keep top talent? Chances are never. And again, it becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy. Whatever you believe, you prove yourself right. And this is what causes you to stay in the grind where you're working in your business, not just on your business, and you're guinea pig on a guinea pig wheel, trading time for money, essentially. You don't have a real business. You have a glorified job trading time for money. That's not a real business. That's a practice. If you leave for a week, you're not making any money because nothing's getting done because you're the chief cook and bottle washer wearing all the hats, doing it all yourself. That's not a real business. A real business is a system that works when you're not working. That's a real business. But if you have beliefs like top talent's expensive, top talent's hard to find, or if I want to get it done right, I got to do it all myself. 
you're never going to be able to create that because you have beliefs that are in direct conflict with your dream and your goal. You guys see that? Another thing that will cause you to stay in the grind is the belief that there's never enough time. There's not enough time in the day, not enough time in the day, not enough time in the day. You keep repeating that as an incantation. Now you're living a life continually fulfilling that as a self-fulfilling pro uh, self fulfilling prophecy. And now, instead of going to the gym in the morning and exercising, you say, I don't have enough time. There's not enough time in the day. Instead, you're reacting all day to emails and inbound calls. You're in reaction mode. And when you say, I don't have enough time in the day, instead of you working on the things that are important but not urgent, you work on the things that are urgent and important. So again, you're in reactionary mode all day. So instead of you working on your business, you're working in your business. Instead of being proactive, you're being reactive. Instead of driving, you're drifting. Instead of making the phone ring, you're waiting for the phone to ring. Instead of investing in yourself to get sharper, better, wiser, you're doing, 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 doing. You're the technician in the lab doing the tactical technician stuff all day, every day, stirring pots, so to speak, in the kitchen, but you're not working on your craft necessarily. See, working on yourself is things like investing in mentors, in coaches, in proven systems, in reading books and listening to audio books. It reminds me of the, uh, of the guy who is out there chopping wood and he is chopping the wood, chopping the wood, chopping the trees, chopping the trees. And another guy comes over very close to where he is and starts chopping trees too. And he, he goes over to him and says, hey, how about we have a contest? Whoever chops the most amount of trees by the end of the day uh, gets a hundred bucks from the guy who loses. He said, okay, you're on. So they get to it and do it. They're chopping away and chopping away, chopping away. And the guy who got challenged to the contest is like, man, I'm going to take this thing. I'm going to just crank it and crank it and crank it. I'm going to grind it. I'm going to grind it. I'm going to grind it. I'm not going to take any breaks. I'm not going to take any time off. I'm just going to keep going and keep going and keep going. I'm going to skip my lunch break. I'm just going to grind harder than anybody would ever even conceive of grinding. Meanwhile, while he's doing that, the guy who challenged him to the bet seems to be taking time off like every hour. Every hour he's getting off his axe and he you don't hear any chopping. He's like, man, I'm surely going to win. There's no doubt I'm going to win. Well, at the end of the day, to his absolute shock and amazement, he found out that this guy that seemed to be taking time, like 5, 10, 15 minutes off every hour, slacking and lacking, had outperformed him by like 50%. He's like, how did you do that? What the heck were you doing? It sounded like you were taking uh, you know, a nap every hour. He said, I wasn't taking a nap. I was sharpening my ax. This is how you keep yourself in the grind, friends, is you don't take time to sharpen your ax because you keep telling yourself this bullshit lie that there's not enough time in the day. And so you grind longer and harder and longer and harder and your ax gets duller and duller. And you wonder why it feels like a grind. Well, this is the grind mentality that keeps you grinding is these belief systems that keep you stuck in the muck and mire of spinning your wheels in the grind. So how do we get you out of that? How do we get you out of seeing your business and seeing your daily disciplines of success as a have to and get you into seeing it as a get to? I get to exercise. I get to work on myself. I get to hone my craft. I get to delegate. I get to build a winning team. I get to work on my marketing. I get to make it rain. I get to be proactive and bring in leads and make things happen. I get to do business development. What would it take to get you feeling like it's a get to as opposed to a have to? You have to have the right mindset. You have to have beliefs that align yourself with that perspective. You guys with me on that? So that links me to the second big thing that keeps people stuck in the grind and that's a grind identity where you see yourself as someone who grinds. Maybe you even tell others, man, I'm a grinder. It's part of your identity. You don't tell people you grind. You say, I'm a grinder, right? And you, your identity is such that you've always been that way and you always have had those kind of results. Working long, you, you know, tout yourself as a hard worker, a phenomenal work ethic, 
right? And, but if you look at your identity and you look at how you see yourself, rarely will the level of your results in life exceed the level at which you believe you're capable and worthy of. If you see yourself as a grinder who's always had to work hard for their money, chances are you're going to perpetuate that because that's how you see yourself. It's the set point. It's like the temperature on your thermostat. If you have your temperature at 72 degrees and it's boiling hot outside and someone leaves a window open or a door open, all of a sudden the hot air comes in and the air conditioning comes in. That's a similar thing to when your results come in and you're just kicking ass and taking names and results are flowing and going and you're making way more than your normal baseline or what you normally used to and it's coming to you easy and effortlessly all of a sudden what happens you start to slack off you stop you start to focus on your minutia of getting the deals done you get sucked into the vortex of operations you let off the gas with your lead generation next thing you know your income goes right back down to that baseline sound familiar that's your self-image set point. You have a self-image set point around grind. You think it needs to be hard, difficult. You think that making a million bucks a year is you working 10 times harder than you are now. What if making a million bones per year is you having a kick-ass team and technology and systems and automation and leadership such that you can work half as much as you are now, but make three, four, five times what you're making now? What if that was the equation? Do you see how just shifting your perspective shifts how you embrace going after a big goal like a million bucks a year or not? Just your belief around it. And now the question is, do you see yourself as capable and worthy of making a million bones per year? If you don't, you'll never achieve it. So that's where gaining that identity, that champion identity where you see yourself making the kind of money you want to make, living the kind of life you want to live, living the dream. You see it, you feel it, you taste it, you touch it, you smell it, you own it. You own it in advance. Or you can keep seeing yourself as someone who grinds, working longer and harder for your money, busting your hump making peanuts, if that is indeed your sentiment with your current situation. All I can say is this, rarely will the quality of your results exceed the quality of your self-image and your self-identity and the quality of your philosophy and your mentality and your beliefs. You want to make a million bones per year, you need million dollar beliefs, million dollar mindset, million dollar identity. So those are some, some things to consider, friends. We've talked about strategy, the grind strategy that keeps you stuck in the rut of doing it the hard way. We've talked about the grind mind mentality that keeps you trudging through the mud with concrete blocks on your feet doing it the hard way. We've talked about how beliefs and your own philosophy for living and your own self-identity is what keeps you in a prison of your own making. So how do you break out of this prison? You break out of it by having someone in your corner on your team leading you out of it because you can't see the label when you're inside the bottle, right? I mean, it's just, you're too close to the action. You can't see your blind spots. That's the power of mentoring and coaching and having someone who's been there, done that, got the scars to prove it to lead you through the quagmire of landmines and crocodiles and all the inevitable challenges that you'll face. If you don't have someone to lead you past that stuff, you're going to get stuck in it. And that's how most people's dreams never get achieved is they never invest in themselves. And so they do it the hard way. They spin their wheels, they chase their tail, and then they say, I, I'm not capable of it, or I can't do it, or it was too lofty, or it was too unrealistic. No, it wasn't unrealistic. It was just that you weren't using a proven plan. You were headed east looking for the sunset. You were headed to the gunfight with a butter knife. You're capable of a whole lot more. You were born to win. You were knit in your mother's womb for a special plan and a special purpose. You're a winner. You were born to win. You're born to be a conqueror. You're a champion in the making. We just got to up level your champion mindset, your champion identity, and your champion strategy. We got to up level your daily routine. We got to get you operating with a champion level routine. Because if you want to get champion level results, you can't afford to settle for a chump level routine and chump level habits and chump level strategies. So I hope you guys have gotten some value from this. As you can tell, I'm a little fired up in spite of being 
really sleep deprived. I probably got like four hours last night, but I'm still feeling amped right now because I'm serving you guys with my unique gifts, abilities, and talents. I'm dancing in my strengths. I want you guys dancing in your strengths. I want you guys to do what you do best and get the best to do all the rest because that's where all the juice is. That's where you get ignited and excited every day, living in your passions, living in that sweet spot, using your gifts to serve humanity. So if you've gotten value from this conversation, if you'd like to learn what it really takes to double, triple, quadruple, even quintuple your income, working smarter, not harder, maybe even working less than you are now once you get it set up. If you want to learn how to get out of the muck and mire, spinning your wheels in the same old spot, doing the same old thing, banging your head against the wall. If you want to learn how to get an Uzi to come to that gunfight with instead of the butter knife so you're equipped to kick ass, take names, chew bubble gum and crush it then I invite you to take advantage of a complimentary breakthrough call. Now, here's what's going to happen on that call. First of all, this is only for the ambitious mortgage professional. If you only want to increase your income by 50K a year, this is not for you. This is only for the ambitious 100% commission mortgage professional who wants to increase their income by at least 100K per year, if not more. If you're serious about up-loving your business to a whole other level, if you're serious about becoming a better version of yourself, if you're serious about up-leveling your leadership and your legacy, becoming a better version of yourself, where you own your power to show up powerfully, even in the face of adversity, and to be able to be like a hot knife through frickin' butter and attracting top producing realtors, mining the gold from your database, and showing up like a champ every day with champion level routines and champion level marketing then I invite you to take advantage of a complimentary breakthrough call with either myself or one of my team members where we lift up the hood on your business, we look at what's working, what's not working, where you're at now, where you wanna be, and if we can help you get to that next level, by all means, we will show you how. And if not, frankly, we'll be the very first people to advise you to pass on our services. Either way though, you're gonna leave that call with massive value, massive clarity, chances are we'll even have some fun. Sound good, guys? So if that sounds good, meaning, meaningful, and worthwhile to you, I invite you to take advantage of a complimentary breakthrough call by going to mortgagemarketingcoach.com forward slash apply. Again, that's mortgagemarketingcoach.com forward slash apply. Book a call. I promise you it'll be the most clarifying, the most capability and confidence inducing 60 minutes you've ever had in a very, very long time, perhaps ever. So that's my promise to you. And I absolutely intend with defiant commitment to deliver on that promise. All right, guys. So again, book the call at mortgagemarketingcoach.com forward slash apply. This is Doran Aldana, Mortgage Marketing Coach, coming at you from mortgagemarketingcoach.com. This is the Art of Mortgage Marketing Podcast. And now go forth, take action. Bring massive positive energy to that action. Chances are you're going to get massive results, guys. Be blessed. Thanks for hanging with me. Love you guys. And keep on keeping on. Remember, you guys are champions. Own your champion identity. Roll your shoulders back. Put your chest out. Stick your cape on your back and own the fact that you were born to win. All right, guys. Be blessed. We'll talk to you soon. Peace. Peace.